Our next comic coming to the stage is a very good friend of mine. We are currently working on a Batman movie together. It uh, is not Ben Affleck. I'm sorry to disappoint any of you. Everyone put your hands together for Vincent Ottobre. stand here. Well, um, I was gonna actually open with the thing about the fappening, and I was like, oh cool, no one's gonna think of that. No one at all. And so I was like, oh shit, well, there goes, there goes a third of my set. <laughs> but uh, I did think it was interesting though, a small note on that, that uh, of course we know the whole thing with Jennifer Lawrence and whatnot, how she's fighting it is, you know, she wants to get these all these things off the internet, but of course, you can't delete anything, except for, she brought in the internet's worst enemy, copyright. That's right, she got a copyright for all those leaked photos, and I think that's hilarious, because it's just like, you're looking at a picture of Jennifer Lawrence, semen all over her face, just dripping everywhere. Copyright 2014, Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> But, uh, okay, so, <laughs> uh, so uh, I got a, a quick joke for you guys. Uh, do we have any uh, gay people in the audience tonight? Well, yeah, hey, how's, how's it going? <laughs> um, well, uh, this, uh, this joke comes from, uh, I have an Wait, Aunt Dave. Should you not? He's my Aunt Dave. And uh, there's a little something like this. These uh, two gay guys live in an apartment, they've been lived together for about, you know, three, four years, really good relationship. And as it, uh, as it turns out, one day they just get really bored. And they're like, you wanna play a game? Well, let's play a game. So, the first guy comes up with the idea, I'm sorry, I'm gonna put a blindfold on you, okay? It's like, that's like, yeah, yeah, okay. And I'm gonna run around the house, okay? And I'm gonna grab a random object from around the house, I'm gonna shove it up your ass. And you have to guess, based solely on feel, what that object is. <laughs> it's like, okay, okay, sounds fun. Give me a blindfold. The second guy puts a blindfold on. And the first guy runs in the kitchen, grabs himself a banana, shoves it up, got number two's ass. Got number two's like, <clears throat> well, it's kinda. Kind of squishy and smooth, it's reasonably sized, got a nice curve to it. I'm like, is this a banana? First of all, oh shit, you got it, good job, good job. <laughs> so, guy number two's like, okay, cool, my turn. Here, take the blindfold. First guy puts the blindfold on. Second guy runs back into the kitchen, grabs a baguette, and a French bread for those of you Americans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, takes French bread, shoves it up guy number one's ass. And I was like, oh man, I don't like this at all. It's dry and crumbly and crusty and sort of coming apart. Is this, is this, uh, this is French bread, isn't it? Yeah, okay, you got me. All right, my turn again. First guy gets second guy, blindfold back, and uh, runs into the bathroom, grabs one of those, <sighs> shit, what the? Yeah, what the fuck is it? Plunger. Ah, so you've played this game before. <laughs> A bunch. <laughs> I was guy number two. <laughs> so that's it for that first joke. The uh, barrel. But yeah, uh, so uh, another quick one. Uh, and by quick, I mean like three minutes. <laughs> but uh, okay, so there are these two uh, elderly people. They're on their 50th wedding anniversary. You know, it's pretty good, make it 50 years, you know, considering the average America is like three. So, they decide to go out, as all old people do, for breakfast. So they go to the, uh, of course, you know, just general little hole-in-the-wall diner. And, you know, they're sitting there, they order their pancakes and their waffles and whatnot. And, the, uh, the woman's like, you know, we've been together 50 years. I think it's only been, I think it's been about 30 of those years since we've, you know, done it. And the guy's like, you know, that's a good point. 
All right, all right, right here, right here, right now, in, in the restaurant. So much to the dismay of everyone in the restaurant, they begin disrobing and all that. And the uh, the woman is just like she get real into it. She's like, oh, oh, honey, my nipples are so hot. And he's like, yeah, of course they are. One's in the syrup, the other's in your coffee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to finish up with a song for you guys, uh, something where you guys get to participate. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right, so uh, this is an old uh, song my uh, dad used to sing this to me before I went to sleep, and looking back on it, I now question his parenting skills. It's called The Scotsman. Uh, feel free to clap along. I'm going to pull up the lyrics here. Well, a Scotsman clad in kilt left a bar one evening fair. One could tell by how he walked that he drunk more than his share. He fumbled down until he could no longer keep his feet. And he stumbled off into the grass to see beside the street. Ring ding ding the little yo, ring da ding the yo. He stumbled off into the grass to see beside the street. About that time, two young and lovely girls just happened by. One says to the other with a twinkle in her eye, See on sleeping spots when so strong and some guilt. I wonder if it's true what they don't wear beneath the kilt. Ring ding the little light, yo, ring da the eye, I wonder if it's true what they don't wear beneath the kilt. They crept up on that sleeping Scotsman quiet as could be. Lifted up his kilt about it so they could see. And there behold for them to view beneath this goddess skirt was nothing more than God had graced him with upon his birth. Ring ding little little I yo, ring down the IO was nothing more than God had graced him with upon his birth. They marveled for a moment, then one said, We must be gone. Let's leave a present for our friend before we move along. As a gift they looked so Kevin tied into a bow around the body star of Scott's kilted with that show. Ring ding the little light, yo, ring da the eye, yo, around the body star of the Scott's kilted with that show. Now the Scotsman woke to nature's call and stumbled towards the trees. Behind the bush he lifts his kilt and walks at what he sees. And in a startled voice he says to what's before his eyes, Oh, lad, I don't know where you've been, but I see you won first prize. Ring, 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 little light, yo, ring, da, the eye, oh, lad, I don't know where you've been, but I see you won first prize. <laughs>